So it looks like we're gonna take our first faction's capital ever in Oriental Empires. We'll see what happens, but I mean, I've got a pretty dominant force. Again, my economy's not doing so well, and my infrastructure, my buildings, back home are not the best because I'm sacrificing a large army for nice things. Uh, I think I said that wrong. I'm sacrificing nice things for a large army. So, here we go. Let's go to the next turn, and, uh, and our siege should begin. Oh, they're running back. Okay, perfect. Oh, but the battle's gonna take place. Here we go. The siege begins now, and actually, I could probably speed through this part a little bit. Okay. So, we're surrounding the city. I love the, like, kind of the animation of, like, the surrounding the, surrounding the city animation. I, I think there was just like a bodyguard that was protecting it, I think. So, looks like... Yeah, we've, we, we outnumbered them by quite a bit. Oh yeah, well now you're gonna get completely surrounded. They actually had a large force, so they actually... I think they, they had to have recruited a ton of units just before this. We still have them outnumbered though. And we're still killing quite a bit. Oh man, the battle, the battle window is gonna be interesting here. And I'll speed through this. Oh, oh, they've really cut our numbers down. It's it's even. Okay, well there was a there was a very successful battle at the very end. Ooh, that was not super easy. We just killed a bunch of our people too. Okay, that's a little bit scary. How are you guys doing? Well, the good thing is we did capture this city. We could always, you know, go back here and, and have everyone sort of heal up. If I'm reading that right, it looks like that was not the most successful thing ever. Um, we're fine, actually. Three, I mean, because th there was only a few that was actually engaged. Uh, there were a lot of divisions that stayed back behind. So, in reality, yeah, we still have 280 men remaining. They only have 95. So we're going to have to siege the city once more. We ended up killing barely more men than them, though. So it wasn't the most effective. I actually didn't think the siege, city siege would begin that turn, though. Let's maybe try a little bit of a different strategy. Maybe I should have them more spread. Because if they're going to surround the city and attack like that anyways, then... Okay, let's go with the battle plan here. Attack versus charge. Make a controlled attack using melee or missile as appropriate. Oh, as appropriate. So we probably want you just to charge then. Harass, no. Outflank, I don't think that's going to matter for a siege city. An ambush won't matter either. Okay, then we'll try to just charge straight up here. All I have is just a bunch of militia. Like they're, it's, it's not the, the best army composition. Uh, you should probably just set for attack. And then I guess you charge. All right, let's try something like that. I don't know. Yeah, just experimenting here because I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, good. We've looted something. Good. So we're getting more money. Again, I'm considering disbanding a few divisions once I know that I'm safe. I'm, I like having a few divisions on hand, though, just in case uh, another AI is tempted to, to come after me. So I like having that in the background. Increase authority, enables construction of weapon smith. I like that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's go with that there. And I think that is it. Let me make sure my farms, we're still doing okay with farms. Looks fine. Oh, we didn't even get to... Oh, that, that should have been a pop-up that... that Occupied settlement. Okay, so I'm going to continue to occupy this, but I might destroy it at some point. I want to occupy it so that I have territory nearby that I could run to if I need to. And you're still farming. Can you recruit anybody yet? Yes, you can. Okay, but we don't want to do that just yet. I also have, like, no gold, so I don't feel comfortable building anything at the moment. And where, what are you guys doing? So you're... You're good. Oh, okay. We're about to engage the this little force. Perfect. So we'll be able to kill a few more of their units, and then you're heading back home. I might disband you guys. I don't think I need you as much. Okay, here comes the second. Oh, no, no, no. There should be two battles that take place, actually. 
And it's gonna take place right in the middle of the river. They're gonna they're gonna come after us. They're gonna come straight after us. Hey, wait, hey, you what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? There you go, get behind them. Perfect. Oh, you surrounded them. Nice. Yeah, that's not gonna go so well. Uh oh, we've got another siege going on. Okay, well this should be super successful out there on the river. Oh, they've got reinforcements coming. Oh, they they flanked us, I think. Well, actually, no, because not everyone part partook in the city siege last time, so we have forces still back there, I think, to help out. I'm wondering if they're getting a combat bonus due to the uh, hill. Wow. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. And they are gone. Uh, let me make sure this is going well. Yep, this seems to be going fine. And the city siege is beginning. Okay, good. So they've retreated. We pushed them back just far enough. We're losing a lot of units, or a lot of men, I should say. Looks like we're going to need another siege of the city before we can take it completely. Oh, nope, we're walking in. Nice. Very nice. Cool. Yeah, that went really well for us. I, I wish we would have got gold. We should be getting gold out of this. Taking cities. Or like something. Increase culture. So we did just increase our culture and our authority. I guess we only have the option of increasing culture at the moment. I would like the ac I'd like to access ooh, increase the the is it that the, is that chi to all leaders? That'd be cool. But I want the ability to increase authority since that seems to be a little bit harder to do. So let's go here. They really I think they need to clean up this. This is way too complicated. If they could make this look more visually appealing because I don't know what prerequisites I need to get to Oracle Bones. Like that's too complicated there, I'd say. But very minor detail. Earthquake. Oh, cool. So we get natural events. Population killed seven. Unrest. Peasants. Nobles. Looks like un unrest were... Are we okay unrest-wise? 50%. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah, that is not good. We have the option of building a barracks. Requires a palace, though. Okay. Hmm. Granary. Would that help anybody? Would that calm people down? We're, we're taking over cities, baby. Why are you mad for? We're su a super successful uh, empire at the moment. And we're still farming land. Good. I want to make sure that we're still... Far turmoil. This place is in turmoil due to the recent events, so you may not build or recruit here. Okay. To last another one turn. Okay. Oh, okay. That was probably probably there. Okay, keep farming. And then you keep farming too. Any other thing that I need to be notified of? Or are we all good? Battle plan, how'd this go? Uh, that went really well. We only... Wait, what? We only killed one person? They only lost one. We got ten killed. That did not go well. Drew? That did not go well at all. This siege? How did the siege go? Yeah, they lost 118 men. I'm gonna try to attack again, and we'll see... We'll see what happens. And then for my big army, should we just try to take them down completely? Yeah, let's try to take them down completely. How are we doing health and, and stuff stamina-wise? I think I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. We'll be fine. Okay, good. So here's another battle. Also, we'll probably be fighting in the river again. Yep, they're going to engage us once. Once more. Oh, no, they're... You retreating? What are you doing? Are you going to allow us to not atta attack or die in the river? Let's see here, too. Uh, this is cool. This is cool. They've got 46 men versus 230. And here we go. 
So they're in for, they're just charging in. Good thing about this army, they're they're mostly useless. They're militia, the spearmen, militia spearmen. I mean, they're not the best of units. I, I'm not super worried about their safety at all. Sorry, guys, if you if you're hearing me. I love you, but I but I don't really care if you die or not. <laughs> there are a few more of my army that I think is kind of more crucial. Okay, so it looks like this was. I think successful. I mean, we might have forced them to uh, disband. All right, where are we? Oh, okay, there. Okay, I get you. Man, this is interesting because they're kind of hidden away in the mountains. So it's very hard to get over here. So I'm going to kind of wrap around. Get another farm. How'd this battle uh, plan go? Okay, we need to stop attacking. We're getting our butt kicked. I'm going to leave them alone. Yeah, I'm going to leave them alone. We also barely killed more people here, too. Now, something I want to mention is that I realized that more than likely if I was actually doing like a long-term campaign, I was trying to win the game, I'd probably be doing disastrously right now. Um, I'm just trying to go to war and show as much combat as possible in the closed beta. Uh, so just wanted to let you guys know that it might not be the most efficient thing ever. Hey, did we... I think they're gone. I'm gonna go out this way. But yeah, no, I, I, I honestly realized that, yeah, if this was a full campaign, I would not be doing the things that I'm doing. Okay, so you guys have made it. I really like you guys, but um, I, I need to disband you. Yeah, because we need to start making more money. Uh, all units will be available for recruitment in their home settlement in two turns. Cool. So it's only going to take two turns. We didn't need these guys anyways. So I didn't need to, to train as many as I did. Oh, who are you? Oh, that's... Okay, that's Zoo. Oh, they are hostile towards us. I should probably look for, like, some sort of a peace deal. Let's actually have you come over here. Well, come around here. I can hold down shift and then force their location. There we go. There we go. Let's, let's do that. And, uh, you guys are gone. We've got everyone else queued up. Perfect. So we should be engaging once more. I wonder who these guys are, first of all. I probably should have checked on that. Well, they're, they're already gone. They left. Yeah, they don't want none. I hope they don't have a settler, because I'd like to see what happens when I completely destroy a faction. All right, perfect. So let's do that. Oh, Comet. Uh-oh. Unrest. Peasants, 15. Nobles, 20. A bright new star has appeared in the uh, in the formation for ferment with a bright tail. Firement? What is it? Ferment? Ferment? I don't know. Drew doesn't just don't. Don't. Drew's, Drew's unsmart. Drew's unsmart. She uh, decreased. Uh-oh. All right. Well, anyways, I just want to see what happens, what happens when I destroy these guys. Ooh. Somebody was already at war with them. Oh, they stole that city. Dang it. So, yeah, the AI is not bad. That's a very smart move of them. Oh. Or, no, oh, those are bandits. I believe those are bandits. And I think we still have another turn. Let's see here. I'm going to speed up and see what happens. I don't think they have anything. There's no way. They, they had to have spent most of their resources taking the capital, or, or saving the capital, yeah, so this is, we're just gonna walk into the city, pretty much. Perfect. Hey, you have more things? Alright, whatever, I'll accept your peace deal. They might, I guess they might. Well, there you go, I mean, we've got six cities now. That worked out well, and I had no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just, I know that I'm playing with a military faction. Uh, there is a city strength here. Amount of city, no, number of settlements. Oh no, they don't have anything. Yeah, they're they're dead. I guess they still appear though on the diplomacy screen. So yeah, we have we have six, and Zhao has three. I guess uh, now we would just try to ma maintain our empire a little bit more, especially without an infrastructure. This is this is going to be where things get hard because again, the map is huge. 
So we'd have probably a really tough time um, <clears throat> maintaining like larger, larger areas. Especially, I have no money. Like that's that's another kind of big issue. Is I have no money. What did I want? I wanted the pottery workshop. Uh, I still can't build it because I need 750. We can wait one more turn and then I can build it. There should be no more battles, right? Oh, the bandits. That's right. Is it the bandits? We're not engaging at all. Oh, no. We're fine. I got a little bit scared there. Oh, our leader has died. Air succeeds. So we get an air, I, I suppose. Finished up some uh, some progress. Road building. That would actually be really smart in this situation. Let's go for that. Because we're just way too big of an empire to keep up with all this stuff. And uh, it looks like I lost money. Yeah, I did. All right, well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to disband you guys. Sorry, so I can make more money. Bam, that's that's more like it. Everybody's moving. Hey, what's this? Encounter. Opportunity. A renowned miner lives here. I love that there's natural disasters, there's pop-ups, there's events. Um, uh, again, it just it shows this game's going to be good. This game's going to be really fun. Oh, and there's a fire. A fire just took place in Jin and Jin Sha. Wow, that's terrible. Now I could finally build my pottery workshop. Jeez. Oh, something bad was going to happen. Show noble unrest. 80%. Income cannot be collected here. Dissatisfaction. Local local factors. Insufficient authority. Yeah, I mean, I, I needed to, to rush after more authority. And part of the problem is that I have a decrease, a debuff, as this faction to whatever, you know, uh, thought to thought. So that's part of the reason why it's hard to get authority because I've got a 20% penalty. Which is part of the reason why, you know, that's, I guess, going to be some things that you need to consider. Because I went for the kind of the military strategy. And, um, you know, it, it'd be empire management that would be difficult as this faction. But I still think this is really cool. Very happy that I got to explore a little bit of the, uh, the combat mechanics. So I can guarantee you I will be returning to Oriental Empires in September when the game first releases. And uh, hopefully I start to grasp the game a little bit more by then. It's kind of a lot to take in for a closed beta. I mean, this thing is... Is, is really looking great. It's really, you know, hit the ground running pretty much. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.